Howdy folks, it's Aiden here from Pure Game Guides. In this video, we're going to talk briefly about resistances in Biomutant and show you how to get the oxygen suit. So when you first come across a hypoxia area in the game, you will get a new quest that tells you you can get a oxygen suit. You will be sent after what's called an oxygen ping dish. Ping dish is basically an old satellite dish that you can find and use to track down an oxygen suit. So far, so good. When you first get the mission, you might be wondering if you can go for it straight away. And the answer is somewhat yes and somewhat no. The way that level scaling works in Biomutant is that the hazards that are all around you in the form of enemies should always be reasonably close to your own level. You can go pretty much anywhere you want as long as you have the resistances to survive in some small enough closed off areas. You don't have to worry so much about the enemies and what the scaling is on them because they should always match you giving you a reasonable level of challenge depending on the difficulty that you're playing at. Where things like the oxygen suit get a little more difficult is quite interesting. So after you get the mission and you make your way north, you will find a place called Pingdish 11H. There'll be some enemies there, just kill them, take them out, go inside, interact with the Pingdish, and it will mark a new waypoint for you that will lead you to a place called Bangshed 11I. This is where you can find the actual oxygen suit that you were looking for to help you survive in the hypoxic areas. The interesting part is that the oxygen suit itself is hidden in an area called Cluppy Dunes, which is actually extremely hot to the point where you will need heat resistance and quite a whack of it to survive in here. The character that I'm running right now has 100% heat resistance. The way I achieved this early in the game is simply through the armor that I am wearing. The armor pieces will all add up to give me a 100% heat resistance thanks to what I am wearing, allowing me to walk through the desert, get my head kicked in by these Jed Fonzies and eventually make my way down into the basement. And once I get down into the basement I can explore this old world bunker and when I get to the end I will discover the oxygen suit, the pieces of which are called airtight armor. And that's it. It's an interesting game. It's not quite the same as many other games out there. Everything is normally clearly marked, but there's sometimes some hidden or just slightly awkward mechanics behind how you get different things. So if you get the oxygen mission and you're wondering if you can do it right from the start, technically you can, as long as you have the heat resistance to survive when you get to the desert. And that's it. After that point, anytime you want 100% hypoxia resistance, you can just put on the airtight armor and get it instantly. No need to mess around with other armor pieces. Just look for anything with airtight in the name, put on the full set, and you'll be good to go. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, if you did, you might consider liking and subscribing. And as always, thank you so much for watching.